<laughs> All right, now that Sean's violent spell is over. Oh, it's only just begun. We can get to the video. So. You want to hit him with a welcome back? Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. He's Sean. And tonight, <laughs> today. You were about to just jump right into it, This you? afternoon or this morning. <laughs> whenever you're watching. You, whenever you're watching, wherever you are. These. Eleanor from Crowded Barrel Whiskey Co. in Austin, Tejas. I just want a rocket exhaust. <laughs> 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 Look at that sexy cork topper. Hopefully you can see her. Why did you, you don't have to wet it, it's new whiskey. It's synthetic too. So, I which one do you have? I better pop. 9-4. I got 9-3. So, these were the two that were released, uh, are available for purchase at the Bastards Ball. Which, if you know, we were there. We were there, and it was a great time. What? Well, we're we just gonna share? Yeah, for right now, then you can have more of whichever one you want. So, um, these are roughly 50 bucks each, give or take. Exactly. Give or take tax. Um, nope, no tax. No give tax, but I mean, it wasn't wrong. So, these are from, like I said, Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company, which is the crowdfunded distillery from the Whiskey Tribe. That was with tax. I paid 100 even. You did? Yeah. I saved $55, $54. That was nice of you. I got ripped off. <laughs> I was just sitting there thinking, <laughs> like, you're talking, my gears are just. You're figuring it out. It's like, wait, I paid a hundred even okay. for that. So anyways, um, <laughs> this is uh, what, batch, or chapter, I think it says? Chapter 9-4. So I should be drinking first. That That's is it. chapter 9-3. Um, we haven't had Ooh. previous releases. I did drink one of the old bottles, because the bottles, the old bottles used to be more of a wine shape bottle. This comes in at 58.1%. This is 56.85. So, get that bitch. both. Nice high proofs. Both say uh, distilled in Indiana on the back. Uh, they are bottled yeah, by them. Quite the, the label on the back, mm -hmm. detailing a very confusing story. So I don't know where the story actually came from. It's interesting. I wish I knew the backstory. Probably mm. should have asked, and could have asked. But we're already here shooting the video, so now it's too late. But they mm. call these fiddly bits on the front, this golden thing. They call them fiddly bits. Like the more like a bottle that has a lot of things has fiddly bit lots of fiddly bits on it And I'm gonna be honest. I love not a lot of fiddly bits. Just just a couple clean just a couple stickers it's really clean this this logo and this on top of the cork Great top notch if I'm being completely honest. I like the old bottle shape more mm. It was a more of a wine bottle, but it had a lot of like golf ball oh. divots in it I feel like this is gonna turn into one beautiful batch oh. I don't believe these are very old I believe these are probably in it's Texas. Five, mm -hmm. But it was distilled in Indiana. They're I MGP. Know, but they get it in a mm hot -hmm. house in Texas, which is basically the sun. So oh. things happen. Well, I think that they're probably in the four to six range, age wise. That'd okay. be my guess. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have the nutty one. Yeah. We I've heard got that one was nutty and one was citrusy. I've got the delicious one. Okay. We didn't get the. Nope, we did not try Jason just told us. Jason we like, said one is I guess we'll take both. And one is citrusy. I definitely have that citrusy one, but it's super like cinnamony too. This has like dark chocolate on the mm. nose. And um mm. the nuttiness isn't overbearing. Mm. Oh, sorry. But okay, we're, we're doing something here. Um like a bunch of cinnamon, a crap ton of stone fruit. You're on 9-3. Yeah. Did you go as far to say? Say it. Stewed fruit. Oh, it's not quite there, actually. <laughs> this is my favorite. I just love the term. Um, ducks. I smell ducks. Dude, it's like... Um, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to say it's like the, the mixed fruit juice in like the, the can of mixed cocktail. fruit that you get. Yeah, it's like fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail is what you're talking about. A bunch, nine, bunch of cinnamon. A 9-4. I'm going with, if you had a reason, the okay. candy. Yep, I got gotcha. you. But they made nutty reasons. Like they put peanuts or something in them. Inside of them, and you bit into half of it, you ate the first half, which was delicious. And then you smelt the second half. That's fucking weird, man. Um, that's, that's fucking weird, man. Okay. Well, proof comes through on that, not gonna lie. They're not low. 
Oh, that got nice and sweet. Uh, that is really sweet. Ooh, um, it's like chocolate covered strawberries it's now. It's like diabetically sweet. What? Diabetic. You had me at diabetically Abetus. sweet. Diabetes. But there's so much proof it burns it off. It's like your flambang fruit in your mouth. I really, and actually, first drink on this one, I'm a fan. Mm. The, the finish kind of fades away a little quickly, but the part that it leaves there is almost like after you eat, like uh, if you eat like a dove milk chocolate and it melts. Okay, all right, all right. And then, all right. you know when you swallow the chocolate, there's yeah. like that little film of chocolate. Yeah. That's what it's leaving. It's like the slug trail of Dan's, chocolate. Dan's about that swallowing business. <laughs> Ooh. Got him. All right. I had to drink the rest of that. Oh. That seems like a, <laughs> a real mistake. Look at how that is on that glass. Dude, yeah. It looks like I painted the glass with clear uh, liquid. I, that was a weird pause, I'm going to be honest. It's a very weird pause. With clear. Mm. The uh, the spice on that is really nice. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm into this. Second drink. I'm I'm We're curious switching. to see how they. Yeah, I'm curious how to see if this will open up because the second drink on that one went to like a, a toasted marshmallow finish. It was really good. If this doesn't smell like fruity oh. s'mores to you, yeah. You're wrong. Well, I mean, yeah, on like the on the nose. Marshmallow mm. is what Fruity I got on the uh, finish. Fruity s'mores. It's pretty much what it tastes I like. Small graham cracker. Exactly, perfectly toasted marshmallow. Okay. Mm -hmm. With uh, mm, a nice sliced raspberry. I I think the um, like the the toasty bits come through on the palate more than the the marshmallow sweetness. I really do. This has like this really. Oof. Interesting sweetness for real. Like the s'more aspect, the s'more aspect is for real. But it is like a, there's like a raspberry compote or something on it. I uh, I kind of get the it's like this is kind of like dry nuttiness in there. You okay there. Mm-hmm. Spilder. Oh my. Oh, that's delightful, isn't it? I knew you'd be a fan of that. Oh. Okay, I enjoyed this. Um, this I has like a, a dusting of like baking chocolate on top of some walnut cookies. Which one's like you? a nine four or nine three? It's one you enjoy more. Yeah, this one yeah. nine so, three. Yeah. Um, nine four comes off. It's like a little bit drier, uh, especially in the finish. Some it's lower proof, but still drinks drier. Um, it kind of has that like. I get it a lot on the the French oak stuff, like that dried oak flavor. Oh, okay. Like it's got oh, yeah. a, like just a small little bit of that in there, sure. and like it it it's goes like a with dry the, yeah, it goes with that yeah that dryness of the whiskey. Man, I don't I don't know. These are both great. I'll, I'll tell you that, but I'm just gonna pick nine three. Is I'm also me. gonna pick nine three, dude. I got honey, muskmelon, and cinnamon. Figure that out. It's like um, a weird bouquet of just fruit sweetness. Which one's the good one, cinnamon. cantaloupe or muskmelon? Because whatever that one is, disgusting. So it must be muskmelon. Muskmelon is the orange one. Yeah, that one's good. Ooh, a nice juicy muskmelon. Yep, I agree with that, honestly. A muskmelon. Mm. Okay, I'm going. I'm voting nine three over nine four for me. Yeah, way sweeter, uh, but it's way more like fruit bouquet of fruit sweetness. It's not floral, super fruity. Almost buffalo, like tropical. Buffalo Trace. Wild turkey. There you go. What, what else you want me to mm -mm. say there? MGP. MGP. That's true. But I'm saying wheelhouse is a flavor. I know what you're saying. Like, I know. this would be way more Buffalo Tracy. That's going to be way more wild turkey. I get orange, man. Oh, that's super interesting. I can't wait for that one to unpack a bit. That keeps changing. Yeah. That's very interesting. Um, this, I feel like... First to third drink was wildly different for me on that one. Okay. Um, that one, I think the, the, like, the nuttiness of like the finish really starts to come and pile on more and more the more okay. that you drink of it but it also brings a nice like chocolate aspect with it it's really good yeah so it's just wildly different speeds yeah these are two extremely different things this is bomb okay so it doesn't are say barrel numbers? number yeah great them dude 50 
So here's the, I'm gonna be honest. They're only 50 bucks. I'm gonna be honest, I went expecting these to be 80 a piece. Yeah. For an hour. I forgot about that. Holy shit, that's super cheap. They were $50 each. That is a uh, I'm giving slightly more expensive rare breed, basically. Ooh, is okay. Is what that is. Um, Five bucks though? Yeah. I mean, like real slightly. Like Four dollars, I think it's like 46. Dollars. And it's coming from what I think, believe at this point, is considered a craft distillery. Yeah, yeah. They're sourcing they would be craft. craft. But they're sourcing. Um, and oh it's good gosh. whiskey. It's a little bit younger source, I believe. Don't, yeah. Don't take that as gospel, but I believe so. I would assume you're right. And. But damn. Um, I'm going um, B plus on 9.3. A minus. And I'm going B minus on 9.4. Solid B. Oh, that, well, that's very weird that we mix that up. You like rare breed more than that? I do. Turkey, that turkey nut. I do. Um, okay. I'm only grading that one a little bit lower. I think it's good. Uh, 9.3 just has a little bit more going on, like I said, and it really good. 9.3 is like my jam. Uh, it's fifty dollars. It's a fifty dollar barrel proof. Oh, why, I you, why are you giving that, that a barrel proof? What I give plus. it? What'd you give it? A minus. I'm sticking with B plus. Why? I don't know. Because these grades don't mean that much. Fuck. <laughs> Just a hard ass. <laughs> I genuinely too. think this is a better whiskey for me. Um, as in, like that nice fruity sweet profile. Yeah. Jason did say citrus nut. Um, spot on, sir. Which one? Which are, which one of those things you prefer? I would say Jason from Mash and Drum. Spot on with that. Though, if you're simplifying it, the shit. That's yeah. what we're talking. So <laughs> awesome trip. Cool distillery. Cool people. Cool bottles of whiskey. Good whiskey. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And thanks for watching the video. The, the proof is a nine point three. Well, I mean, but like <laughs> comment, subscribe, and do oh. things like that. Oh yeah. But yeah, other than those yeah. things, yeah. the proof is, in my opinion, I wish we would have. We could have gotten two of each. Yeah. We didn't try either. Nope. And we already spent money. Did we go to Specs before? Yep. So, mm, yep. And then we're like, oh, we gotta ship these back in our checked bag. Nothing broke this time. Thank God. Yeah. So needless to say, thanks for watching. For real. Um, good whiskey. Like I say, great people. That's it.